And we saw that we are a diverse group, so there were um, different actors sitting at the table from IOM, an NGO, Diaspora Academia, and that could be very interesting, uh, bringing our knowledge and experience um, to this topic. The interests, some of the interests that are notable are that the, the contribution makes a remittance and the development of the migrants. My next question actually refers to that, implementation. It's an international document, it's an international, it's a global compact. What about its implementation at the national level? How shall that function? How shall that happen? Well, states will have to devise mechanisms to internalize what has been decided and what they have consented to uh, at global level. This may take many forms. Uh, and very probably, states will have to, at national level, do what they've done at global level, i.e., create a, proce a process through which all the stakeholders will be brought uh, into the game of implementing the Global Compact. Civil society, academics, uh, business community, civil servants, they will, and, and local actors like cities who are very important. All these actors will be brought, hopefully, forward and, and there will be a big discussion. Um, a few words, so I'll try now to bring a bit the, uh, the perspective of the Swiss Civil Society Platform on Migration and Development. Um, some of our experiences and also some uh, ideas or proposals for uh, uh, influence on the Global Compact consultations and beyond. Another point, know your partners, know your entry points. Quick question, how many in, your, in this room have the cell phone number of the Global Compact coordinator in your country? Yes. Okay, so the first message here, try to remember these people because that means that there is already a link between civil society and the government. These are entry points, established entry points that you can build on. So these are low-hanging fruits of governments that you already established a, 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 um, a work relationship on that. Also, wenn Sie mich fragen, Migration kann eben auch Sauerstoff sein für eine Gesellschaft. Migration ist physischer Austausch. Migration erneuert Gesellschaften und hilft uns in der Entwicklung und auch in unserer Weiterentwicklung. Und es ist ebenso klar, Migration ist heute eine Realität. Die Migration stellt in einem großen Teil der Fälle Gesellschaften nicht vor unlösbare Schwierigkeiten, sondern hilft im Gegenteil der jeweiligen Gesellschaft, sich zu verbessern und weiterzuentwickeln. When we talk about expected ma uh, expectation management, what we have to take into consideration is the fact, the fact that there are expectations inside, inside the diaspora and expectations outside the diaspora from one project. The multitude, this mul the multi-faced diaspora, they have different uh, uh, expectations because the diaspora could be featured as a beneficiary, as a partner, as a donor, as a supporter, sometimes as a disbeliever. Let me use another picture, and, and here also we, that's a, a, an element why we got so stuck in the debate, because most of the people, they see migrants as victims with all the costs and that are linked with, with all the burdens and the, the tensions and the things, and they do not necessarily see the same people as competent people, as ambitious people, and with people with the potential, with, uh, with ambitions and with workforce and so on. Migration is a fact of human life. It's not a new fact, it's an old fact. If you go back to history, history has been largely moved by migration, whether it's tribal, national or international here. Wherever what we presented here was methodology, how we work, how we organize our work, how, to, how we organize ourselves to achieve those objectives. Mm, works towards policy dialogue. But then it seems to want to do many other things as well. So how will those priorities be set now? Maybe the issues of human rights can also be an issue there. Because 
it touches the lives of migrants. Uh, cette enquête va être prise en considération par la plateforme, donc est-ce que vous l'avez inclus dans la deuxième phase de la plateforme Il y a tellement d'organisations, tellement de groupes, que ça serait mieux si ils pouvaient venir ensemble 